From one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Today on to week 15 in the NFL, and we've got a good matchup in store. As it'll be the Houston Texans taking on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. Man. Man. Oh man, that's his He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have football with no laces. So as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right, you're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how it's going to sit the time down, too. And a gain of three on the play. And it makes it four down and two yards to go. They'll run with ETA. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. It's an eight yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Faced with their first third down conversion opportunity and able to punch it through and pick it up on the ground. And to me, doing it on the ground. Sends a different type of message than throwing the football. And, you know, let's face it, we've done a lot of games together. How often have we seen third down turn into an automatic passing down no matter what the yard is? Yeah, and last thing you want, that opening drive, you go three and out. You got everything scripted, lined up. Let's get some points on the board. They're able to avoid that right now. Down on the numbers. There he goes. Travis is here. Touchdown, Houston. 
Travis Etienne with touchdown number 27. That ties Priest Holmes for the third most in a single year. And the Texans are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And it's now a 7 nothing game. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And up will the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Well, she about to go somewhere now. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. On first down, Justin Herbert. He's got his man, it's Andrews. And at the 28 yard line. Just a three yard game there. They look at the defense for these Texans. Now they're going to be tough to throw on, no doubt. Currently ranked third in the NFL against the pass. And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top 10 in the league against the pass, but the bottom half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Imagine if this group ever put pressure on the QB, they'd easily move into the top five. First carry for Nick Chubb. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Well, this defense for the Texans, they were terrific in the win over Tennessee a week ago. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there. And they came away with three interceptions in that game. Herbert on third down now. And that'll fall incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key keep down throws. And boy, now a touchdown already, but they're going to line up to go for it on their side of the field. They rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Now it's Herbert. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Brandon watching their tape from last week. I saw plenty of plays like we just saw there, forcing incompletions. It was key in their win last week. They're hoping the same thing happens this time out, too. Gonna throw on third down with Herbert. And the throw there gonna be incomplete. They got pressure there at only one and three. And there's a defensive coordinator right now who is celebrating not just getting home with three there, but realizing if that's the type of pressure he can get in the entire game, then his pass defense is going to be excellent. You drop an eight, or you're going to go with the football. McPherson's kick is good. And they are on the ball. 
Ravens still trailing in seventh way. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives, and they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that good stick here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it to the Bulls first three points. Game on. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that. Charles's defense, they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. See, what, what is she talking about? What is she talking about? Come on, baby, you got to make that play. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Nice run of throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Prior to that, he had hit his first six passes to start the game, so on a nice little run to begin. It feels like this offense has carried its dress rehearsals into the game. You know, because you do practice it, you do go through it, and in this case, it's, it's clicking exactly like they drew it up. Two of them setting up shot to throw again. Oh, he tried to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seen the ball so well, understanding receivers and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off by actually catching the ball when he has a chance, he's helping his team in a huge way.
Chubb on the counter. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Here's a second and eight. Two minutes, Two minutes gone, gone by, by second, second quarter. quarter. Herbert now. Damn, that was my fault. That was my fault. Patty Wadd over. Come on, baby. Let's 
Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second down and nine. Oh, man! Speed is the name of the game when it comes to Come on, speed. baby! You can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. And now they'll shift things around. Throwing his two final on third down here. Oh. Yeah. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know, they don't want to try and get a big play right away and take control of that. Others, they're going to play a couple short passes to get a little bit of that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They are another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit. Maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. Get to his child with Jalen Hyatt. And they'll get to him right away at the 40. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because of zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Herbert setting up the throw on first down. They'll find Paris Campbell. That's complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. From the 50, here's Herbert. Caught along the left side by Hyatt. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop them with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. A little football one-on-one -on -one there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he's right at it and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out, to the sideline, and make a catch. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Herbert throwing again. That's the right choice. Come on, man. Can't play like that. You see him running right over there and still throw the ball. Those 
cost your team chances. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. They'll get this out to the five for ETU. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Here's two. He's got to hook up to Miller. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out in the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Second down to him. Finding Miller once more complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Back to back receptions for him, and it's another first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Give DT running right. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. No gain on the play there. Second down. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And his kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. See in the car, they walking. Where was they going? It'll be the Chiefs football to begin quarter number three, and they trail here as we are back underway now on EA Sports. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So I know. Something has to change here in quarter three. She didn't and I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops. Come on, Herbert. You couldn't miss the other day. Here they go again, second and 10 from the 25. Herbert. I'm just missing Reed. You say what? I'm just missing Reed. It's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, let alone put points up on the board. Stay with Adam. Let's see. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Herbert. He's got his target. That's good. He's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in for the Kansas 
Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change. Because otherwise, that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. And bringing it in right side here, Beckham. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. And Charles, with that completion, I'm told that puts him over 3,000 yards passing now in the campaign. And Brandon, nowadays, your leader's usually closer to 5,000 yards on the year, but still, 3,000 yards, a good season. And he'll get it out near the 49. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On first down, right back to ETN. And he takes this as like near the 45-yard line. 88 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Off of play action. There we go, baby. Hoping to find another avenue of escape, it didn't exist. Tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll get this off to ETA. Let's go. Let's get this stop. And obviously that's well short of the first. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. Come on, baby. Let's change this. And just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. No sign of two of the parting. Fourth down. They're going for it. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. Oh, I wasn't even looking that way. I should have blitzed it. Not often do fourth down conversions result in 23 yards, but that's the case here. First down. They go quickly here out to Moore. Two yeah. yards on the pick up there, and that will bring up second down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Second down and eight. Two and throw again. Short pass caught by Henry. Second catch for him today, and they'll wind up a first down. The tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is right in the sight lines of the quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Now two are going to change the play. On first down, Tungabailoa. 
Got a man, and he hits him in stride. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now a second and two. Now they'll change things around before the snap. On the right side, this is Miller. That was some BS, yes, but what up? Drive continues and the chains move again. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. You have to be a little careful. You're losing playing against a good Come on, baby. like he is. You need to turn it like off. Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's going to back over there. there. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to zone. There we go. And you can drop for anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Got him. This nigga is so slow. That's all we want. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. He'll get seven yards there on the keeper, but still fourth down. Consistently. 
Tiger. Baylor Tiger. They run it again with Chu Chu. And this is the last song. Go. As they stop him behind the line. They go backwards there, two yards, and second and one is now third and three. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame movement has turned into results. They gave him the option there on third and short, runner pass, you choose, and he decided to fling it out to the perimeter. And that was the right call as they pick up the first down. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Let's go, baby. Look at it all. Listen, okay. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. 
Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. One thing you're looking for when you run drag routes, you're able to get a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. Yeah, he's got to be out of bounds, but not before. We need all three of these ten miles. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agree. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. This is first and ten. to throw. A short throw caught by Andrews. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. He certainly did a nice job spreading the field on this drive, but here he finds his big tight end for good yardage, and that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. I warn you, baby. Why would you about to stand? But you roll with her. Here's first down. Uh -huh. Hey, Kappa, 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 Kappa. Holy Christ. Second one is better than picking up the first down because in college football, the clock stops with every first down. 
and actually aids the defense in that situation. He's gonna get it again. Just looks good. Let's go, baby. It was a chance. Coming this way. Oh, good one. Good one. And the Texans are going to have a first down, and that is a big one. So you should be able to run it out from here. And this defense, they needed that one more stop to have any chance, but that completion, that's likely going to seal their fate. And you can hear it in your voice. That one more stop. Oh, it was so important. They just didn't get it done. Wow. What a way to finish this one off. Charles, and look, they were honest with us this week. They had this game circled on the calendar for quite a while. Coming in and 